So in this video I will be trying to retake the W Prime 1024M top score with the Intel Pentium E2160 CPU. That CPU is actually one of the most important CPUs for me in the history of like PC parts and overclocking. It was very popular CPU back in the day and I managed to do all of the important top scores with that CPU model during uh, autumn of 2020. Now two or three months ago I lost the top score in W Prime 1024M to TAG from Austria. He managed to do like uh, five second faster run at roughly same uh, frequencies so his run is definitely good so I will be trying to retake that specific score now with the very same CPU I used last time. Back then like two years ago or a bit over two years ago when I did these scores I used my backup Rampage Extreme for those scores and I, uh, I didn't use too much effort to really push every single test to the absolute limit as uh, I wanted to go through many of those CPUs relatively quickly. So now let's see what happens. I should be able to uh, at least improve my current score by quite a bit if nothing goes wrong. So let's see what happens. So I'm using well like roughly the same setup as last time but now I'm actually using the P5E3 Premium Padia motherboard. So this motherboard can do 700 plus FSP and even close to 2200 stable MEMS at 680 plus FSP with very high CPU and so on. So this motherboard is actually very good especially for those older Intel Core CPUs and I think it should work just fine even with the Pentium. The only CPU range where the P5E3 isn't so good is the Wolfdale. At least generally you cannot do very good score for example with the E8600 with the P5E3 Premium. So for those uh, highest end Wolfdales you generally need a Rampage Extreme. So uh, let's see what happens. So uh, the temperature range I already know, voltage range I already know, so will be very interesting to see. So we will be aiming for 4.9 GHz plus straight away, so let's see what happens. So I have both Windows XP and Server 2003 already prepared and let's uh, hope for the best, let's see what happens. So. Uh, I'll start cooling down and I'll meet you again inside the operating system.
case or the W prime part of the whole testing went actually pretty all right. So I got a new rank one score in W prime 1024M as well as in 32M with a pretty nice margin over the previous rank one scores. When I tried to run Superby 32M just out of interest because I knew that this motherboard could be able to run memories up to 2200 with 675 timings and with performance level 5 I almost passed the test but then it crashed on one of the uh, later loops and from there afterwards the whole rig felt pretty uh, inconsistent or pretty weird if you ask me. So I managed to uh, pass Superby 32M with lower memories so uh, 1800 something and 664 timings but it was very weird because I could run 32M at least to some degree but when I tried to run PyFast or SuperPy 1M, the test would crash usually pretty quickly. So that's very weird because 32M is a much harder test to pass than PyFast or at least usually than PyFast and at least harder than SuperPy 1M. So something was definitely going wrong towards the end of the session. I think it's either the mount or some error at the north bridge of the motherboard. So uh, at least what I noticed during the session was that if I hit one of the LN2 container rods with my thermos flask, the uh, whole system would either crash or just reset on its own. I've seen that happen even uh, before, but usually it shouldn't happen. So I think something was just wrong with the whole mount or setup of the system. So. Uh, I'll need to check out what's, what's uh, the current status of the CPU. I actually forgot that the P5E3 Premium has a V-Core limitation of 2.1 volts, even with the jumper uh, enabled. And it seems that these CPUs, so the E2160, they can scale even with higher V-Core values like 2.2 volts. So I think I should try the CPU again on one of my better Rampage Extremes. The uh, performance of this motherboard was definitely all right, but I really want to see what's the uh, status of the CPU and the end result with one of my better Rampage Extremes. So uh, I really would like to see SuperPi32 and passing with uh, close to five gigahertz on the CPU and with 2200 or tiny bit above on the memory with good timings, etc. So uh, that would be the utmost best combination when it comes to E2160. So uh, high CPU clock plus 2200 on the memory. So uh, if you have so high frequency on DDR3 memory with good timings, you don't even have to think which memory type is better for these kind of CPUs, DDR2 or DDR3. But yeah, that will be for the next time. So uh, these results will be uploaded to hardwarebot.org. So definitely check them out if you are interested in them. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And well, if you want to join my Patreon Discord channel. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. One of my 775 legacy overclocking content once again. And I will see you on the next one.